Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Hamid Reza Ul Hassani and welcome to the episode 19 of the Mobile Networks Overview course. In the episode 18 uh, and the previous episodes, uh, we generally talked about EPS network structure and uh, especially focused on system architecture evolution and EPC part evolved packet core. Uh, we start a discussion from MME, then uh, discussed SGW and PGW, and now uh, just we have uh, two remaining network elements, which are HSS and PCRF. So let's have a talk and introduction about HSS. HSS, or Home Subscriber Server, is a very strategic and important node in the network. In my opinion, one of the most important nodes in the network. In the previous uh, generations, we, ta we told it HLR, Home Location Register. And now we say HSS, Home Subscriber Server, for, three, uh, for uh, 4G and so on. And also for the 5G, we say UDN. Okay, so let's see. Uh, and as you can see, the, it has just control plane here. And uh, it doesn't have user plane, it just have a control plane in this uh, EPS network, network structure and just have a uh, connection signaling with MME, mobile, mobility management entity. And the interface is S6A. And the protocol, as I told to you sometimes uh, before, diameter. Okay. So let's see what is the HSS and its functionalities. HSS is Home Subscriber Server, a very important strategic node, supporting authentication and registration for subscribers and downloading user profiles to MME. Uh, it inserts or uh, or it inserts the sub the subscriber the information to the MME, or we can say that the subscriber of the uh, the subscriber information will be downloaded from HSS to the MME, supporting authentication and registration for non 3 gpp subscriber and dis and distributing user profile to the triple A. Because uh, you know, uh, registration is not just uh, for 3 GPP users, maybe a Wi Fi user or some other non 3 GPP subscribers. So, HSS is also responsible for this. Okay, well, so for the first part, for, uh, for more clarity, I should say that HSS has the profile and information of the, all of the subscriber, and when the subscriber is updated in a MME, then one of the functions of HSS is to insert this data to MME or some other nodes as I talked before, as I discussed before in the uh, couples of uh, episodes before about the CS, which the information from the HLR or HSS inserted to the MSC. Okay. And providing roaming restriction, uh, it's just one example and use case. There are many features that you can add or remove from the profile subscriber. These are just examples. Or for example, providing varying services. Uh, for example, outgoing bar or some, some, something like this. Uh, and providing restrictions over access network type. Uh, uh, setting the maximum ag uh, aggregation bitrate and many other uh, uh, profile information and support uh, diameter based IP uh, as I just uh, told to you these are just some examples but these are not limited to these uh, and HSS has lots of uh, functionalities that some of them are uh, listed here okay other, but another important uh, node uh, is PCRF. PCRF is not mandatory in the network. 
uh, we can have the network functional without PCRF also but PCRF uh, uh, can be used for uh, for some reasons that I will uh, discuss in the continue and uh, uh, I should mention that it's optional okay PCRF is policy and charging rule function you can see this is also has just control plane interfaces and we can see um, its connection interface with SGW is GXC with PGW is GX and uh, within a uh, packet data network or internet is RX okay so let's see what's the functionality of PCRF As I told to you, PCRF is policy control, policy control and charging function. Policy control and charging function, charging rule function. Mainly used for prescribing rules for policy and charging control. For policy and charging control. The PCRF is responsible for terminating the RX interface and the GX interface, which you so in the uh, picture this is another uh, this is another uh, definition policy and charging rules function PCRF is a node designated in a real time to determine policy rules in a multimedia network or in a network this is also optional uh, let's uh, see another definition the PCRF is the part of the network architect, uh, architecture that aggregates information to, to and from network, operational support system and other sources in real time, supporting the creation of rules and then automatically making policy decisions for each subscriber active on the network. Such, as net, uh, such a network might offer multiple services quality of services, levels of charging and rule, charging rules. For example, suppose that the area is very uh, low population, population. So PCRF can, uh, can create a new rule to give you a discount. But this is just a rule. Who will enforce this? The PCEF. PCEF will enforce this rule. So in PCRF automatically and online some of the rules will be generated uh, and it will it gives some information from many sources and it sends the rules to PCEF and it will decide and it will enforce this. As, you, as we know PCF may be many topologies in many vendors pgw is working as a pcf okay and also as you see as you saw quality of services which is very important and i will show you some qci quality of service class identifier that pcrf is responsible to take care of them and in other words, the ability to manage the ability to manage a network and subscriber policy in real time, the ability to efficient, efficiently and dynamically route and prioritize network traffic, and key inputs to revenue assurance and bandwidth management. These are some of the responsibilities of uh, PCRF. This is a very strategic uh, business node. But as I told to you, it's not mandatory. And uh, I mean that without it, the network it can be uh, functioning normally. So we can uh, see this uh, with picture ref uh, as a reference from 3GPP that you can also uh, get it online. And if you like, you can ask me to send for you. It is. Uh, accessible for all and uh, you can search it very easily okay so we can see the 
position of PCRA policy and charging rule function here and many interfaces are connected to this for example here we see here it is P gateway it can be P gateway we see that here it is GX okay uh, we see that we have a subscription profile repository, repository SPR. We have this interface SP BBERF GXX RCAF NP access function RX SCEF NT online charging system which charges the subscribers online or in some uh, vendors like Huawei they say uh, the commercial one is CBS convergent link system uh, in the future in the later I will have some episodes and some uh, teaching on this this is very important and strategic note uh, so we have C we have SY interface here TSSF ST TDF traffic detection function SD traffic detection function this is all this also can be important you know, in the network I will also uh, discuss it later maybe in the next episodes and between TDF and charging online charging system GYN with offline charging system also GZN and uh, this also can have uh, P gateway and offline charging system with GZ but you know uh, right now many operators uh, just have uh, online charging systems for uh, charging uh, the subscriber they also may have offline charging system but this is responsible for charging all of the subscriber and this may uh, use for just backup or some other reasons okay uh, so it was a, a brief introduction to HSS and also PCRF and its functionalities. I hope that it would be useful and informative for you and hope see you in the next videos. Bye.